Hey, happy Sunday morning, everybody. I hope you're all enjoying your weekend. Um, I just wanted to apologize when I had recorded my video on Friday. Did not realize that I did not hit the upload button. I was working on it and had it all queued up on YouTube and let it do its thing and um, did not hit, finish hitting the upload button. So it did go up yesterday morning um, when I kind of started to do things and I just thought well, I'll kind of leave that one for Saturday. Um, and I'll do one uh, today. Uh, so I did miss one throughout the, the couple days here. Um, so since uh, I recorded Friday, um, Pujols did hit his 700th, 700th home run, can't talk, uh, against the Dodgers Friday night. That was a, a, an interesting game uh, to see. He hit the, you know, 699, 700 fairly quickly into the game there. Watched the Badgers last night. It was not a very good game. Um, I mean, that team is definitely built to run the ball and play defense. And when we get behind like that, we just... Okay, there's not a whole lot we can do. Um, and I don't know if it's, you know, time to, to start trying to look at some different things. I don't know if Paul Chris can... Um, basically revamp what he's doing instead of just us constantly running the ball. Um, you know, Mertz was a, the highest kind of rated quarterback we've ever gotten into the program. And um, I was actually talking with Buddy last night just to see how um, had Mertz taken one of those other, um, you know, school offers. Because he did have offers from all of the big schools that if he had went there, what would he have done there? What would he have looked like? Um, because he's obviously a different quarterback here than he would have been there. Um, so it's just kind of an interesting thought. Um, Going to hope the Packers do much better today against the Buccaneers. Um, so, Anyways, that's kind of that. Um, I don't know if you could potentially hear in the background, but um, the pregame show is on. Just getting ready to um, do this. Uh, make sure and check my fantasy lineup before football starts. I do have a bunch of guys that are like kind of questionable-ish, including Justin Herbert, which is going to be a tough decision. Um, so. Anyways, here we go. Let's get into this. Hope you all enjoy. Kind of a rainy weekend so far. Rainy and cool. I like the cool part. Um, all right. Starting off with an Akil Badu, Jose Trevino, Danny Duffy, Teoscar Hernandez, Sandy Leon, uh, Tristan McKenzie, Josh Hader. Alec Baum, Shogo Akiyama, Wilmer Flores, DJ LeMahieu, Kervin Castro, Ryan Mountcastle, James Caprillion, Cooper Criswell, Zach Davies, Ryan Newman, Brian Miller, Jeff Hoffman, Evan Longoria, Mitch Garber, Jose Siri, Anthony Rendon, uh, Lorenzo Kane, Ronzi Contreras, Jonathan India, Lamont Wade Jr., German Marquez, Tyler O'Neill. Oh, okay. <laughs> the way that card lined up, it almost looked like a, a super fracture, but it's a, a stars and an 87. Uh, Toronto talent. We got a gold Carlos Correa. I feel like that's the second one I have of his. Uh, Cattell Marte stars, uh, Trey Turner stars, Xander Bogart stars, Francisco Lindor stars. We've got an 87 Hank Aaron. That is the second one I have of that. Uh, Miguel Sano, significant statistics. Cole Tucker, Matt Brash, Vladimir Gutierrez, Donovan Solano, Elias Diaz, uh, Heimer Canelario, J.A. Happ, Brett Phillips, Kendall Graveman, 
Kevin Biggio, Ian Anderson, Nick Gordon, Taylor Hearn, John Heasley, uh, The Giants, Edbert Elzele, Colton Wong, Nick Cassianos, The Orioles, The Rangers, Pablo Lopez, Joe Adele, David Peralta, Luis Arias, Kevin Smith, Taylor Widener, Jonathan VR, uh, Jonathan Diaz, Logan Allen, and Eddie Allen and Evan White. That will do it for today. I hope you all enjoy uh, your, most of us, the final day of our weekend here. Um, excited about football today. I believe it's a true test for the Packers to see where we're at. Um, if we come out and just lay an egg, it's, it's not a good look for us. So, anyways, thank you all for your support um, during these, you know, tough times for myself. Um, I did see a, a video from a, a friend of mine this morning um, that is also, uh, was a very meaningful video. And I, we all are fighting different battles in our own way. And I think it's very important to remember those things um, when you talk with people and interact with them and just be kind. You know, I've, I've said that a lot, but um, as I continue to grow older and uh, we'll, we'll call it wiser um, and just see things from a different point of view. I just remember growing up as a kid and you know, as far as being taught to respect your elders and things like that and you know they've been through some things and seen some things and now that I'm in a position in life where you know my kids are all getting older and they're in you know college and uh, working and things like that and raising kids of their own um, it, it's definitely a, a lesson uh, st steeped in time so just please be mindful be kind and most of all be yourself too. So, thank you very much, everyone. I hope you spend time with your family and friends today and can do something meaningful for yourself. So I will see you all tomorrow. Thank you very much once again. Bye.